tell me that I can't do something, I'm probably going to do it and prove you wrong anyways. We're a wolf pack and if you're not a part of pack, you know, you can't run with the wolves and you'll just uh, die with the sheep. Oh man, I didn't do my joke for the beat. You gotta drop the beat, you know, drop that beat. Oh. You could say that Wolf is like a departure from molecular gastronomy. The departure was a conscious decision uh, made by myself and it's something that I've kind of been doing for the past four or five years where I realized the food that I was cooking, I wanted it to be more about the food and more about the people eating it and less about like the techniques or the manipulation. I wanted the food to be something that was like comforting and something that was classic, but also you know something that you wouldn't necessarily make at home. So it's kind of like a blend of all those things coming together. So I'm gonna prepare for you guys one of our signature dishes, which is the chicken. Now, the chicken that we do here is a, sort of like a multifaceted process. It's kind of complex, but at the same time, rooted in fundamental cooking techniques. So I'm gonna walk you through that. We start off with whole birds, which we break down, and we make like a really nice sort of like jus and gravy from basically every part of the animal. One of the concepts is basically like a no-waste cooking philosophy. And what we try to do is utilize every aspect of the plant, the vegetable, the fruit, the animal, whatever it is. And what I found through doing that is the dishes actually taste better. They have like a more rounded flavor. Occasionally, you know, we'll get people like poke the beet tops and they'll move them off to the side. And then our servers will remind them that the beet tops are intended to be in there. And they're actually quite delicious and juicy. And uh, once they try it, you know, they like it. And they're like, oh wow, that is actually really, really delicious. So once we've brined the chicken for 24 hours, we go ahead and we actually vacuum seal the chicken and we cook it in a thermal immersion circulator. We've got the garlic, the thyme, the rosemary, and we cook it at approximately 60 degrees Celsius for about two hours. Once the chicken is cooked, we go ahead and sear it on the plancha. So we sear it in a pan, add more herbs, and then give it that sort of like nice, crispy, golden brown, like delicious roasted chicken flavor and texture. The restaurant's been open for about four months now, and I feel like every day it's still evolving. The dishes um, will either get changed or they'll have new components added to them. And the seasoning and everything just gets tightened and tweaked, and every day is an improvement. As soon as we get comfortable doing one thing, then we add something you know, to make it a little bit more complex, but also to make it like fun and interesting and new for not only the staff, but for the guests and the customers when they come and, and dine inside the restaurant. So while the chicken's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and work on our veg. With the asparagus, I just like to go real simple. We're just gonna go a la plancha. Just give it a nice little sear. Now we're adding um, garlic, thyme, rosemary, and bay leaf. Put it in there. If you can smell this right now, it's very, super aromatic. Um, gives us a lot of the flavor. Let's keep the chit chat to a minimum over there. I'm, I'm, I'm being a celebrity over here, guys. Keep rolling, keep rolling. That's the good shit. You know, restaurants are teams, and uh, we're made up of a really, really strong team here. There's a bunch of paw prints in the kitchen, and those paw prints represent employees that have either been fired or quit over the, you know, the course of the opening of the restaurant. And it's just kind of like there for us as a reminder, you know, that only the strong survive. We pretty much have all the mise en place, which is all of our, our, all of our components are working. And now it's like the fun part. We can start plating. I mean, the customers are also like a huge part of the pack. When a guest walks into Wolf, I kind of want them to feel like a nice warm embrace, whether that's from our staff, or the warm environment that we've created in here, the aromas of all the food, or the guests and the laughter in the room. It's just like a small sort of intimate community that we've kind of curated here. Amidst the mist with fiercest frosts and barest wrists, he thrusts his fists against the posts and still insists he sees the ghosts. Put it in. Put it in.